everyone. Welcome to our nail art live stream tutorial. So today we're gonna do Betty Boo. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Let me show you our inspiration. So, uh, I forgot today is Wednesday. So today I'm gonna do two live. So first thing in the morning is Betty Boo. And I wanna dress her in a uh, St. Patrick gown. So it's gonna be green. And then I'm, I do like a pot of gold and some uh, green plaid is what I'm planning to have for St. Patrick Day. So that is our team for today. <coughs> Can you do this like you had it yesterday? Yes. So I should go online instead and click in Instagram.com. There you go. And yeah. But, oh, that's easy. Yeah. See it? Yeah, I got so much easier. Oh, oh, you you at Tino Godak shop? Let me see. Are you on Tino Godak shop or uh, the home? Let's see. Let's see Tino Godak shop. Tino Godak. Right, but what are we? Oh, Chris Netonel Ferry got it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. So let me connect myself. Everyone, we are on. Let's see. Turn the around. All right. We are set. Hi, Joanne. Hello. Hi, Arlette. Good morning. Let me post my website. Hi, Dai. Hello. Let me put in my website at www.tinovo.shop and I will add Kyla's information. You can call her for shopping question or a uh, question about your orders. So her phone number is 417-772-4020. That's Kyla's. Okay. All right. Take out this now. I'm gonna paint Betty Boop on this now. So, with this top gel, I'm gonna go ahead and color it in. And this is entire now. So, hola, uñas. here hi michelle hello hello michelle hi picaro welcome welcome looking fresh you know love it thank you miss esclips hi from argentina hello illinois hi pandora okay this one and this one also nude because they're going to be plaid uh, actually, just the pinky. They're going to be plat right here. So, tan nudes is what I'm using. Ah, oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Hello, Austin. Oh, Austin, Texas. Uh, oh, yes. I love Austin. I know a couple of people from Austin. They say Austin is the prettiest out here in Dallas. Is it? I, I don't know. i never been. But I heard about Austin. Kid, this. I want to go. Yeah, Austin, Texas. Oh, it's really nice. Good morning, Jen. Hi, Gentilini. Hello. All over, just like this. This is a pinky. Mm -hmm. 
Nigeria's this great work? So far, I haven't seen Plaid yet. Um, so I'm curious to see how the response is going to be for, for Plaid for this season. You know, not the code. Actually, it seems very fitting. It seems fitting to me. Right. Cut green plaid. I think that's sexy for St. Patrick's Day. Right. Plus, their uh, most kilt are half plaid too, right? Mm -hmm. that's yeah. Exactly what I was saying. No, I think I think it'd be good, but I don't know because so far I haven't seen plaid anywhere. Here, this I'm kind of thrilled to be the first one this season. Oh, Charlotte said they had the Northern Lights recently. Oh. That's oh, I just heard a message. Yeah. I uh I seen the message. Some people uh in uh, Alaska told me that. I think I think they're in Alaska, yeah. Mm -hmm. said spring flat is fitting for Easter also. Oh yes. Uh what is uh the color of spring flat? Is it multiple colors? Guessing I would say like light tan. Oh. Pastel green, maybe a pastel pink. I don't know. So we gay, actually. I miss you. Spring plant. I was actually picturing an Easter bunny basket. Yeah? Well, Scotland Island wet kills. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And then I thought that's where the leprechauns came from. Is. I don't really know. No, leprechaun come from America. I have that. Um, mm -hmm. I I have a, a actual iris confirm me on that. She said, "I said Kim, do you celebrate the Magic Day?" She glad me. They mean. <laughs> she like, what do you mean? I said, you know, leprechaun and all that stuff. All this culture. She like that is a made up holiday. Us iris, we don't have that. It's something that made by America. So yeah. that's Christmas. <laughs> She say, yeah, we do, we do celebrate it, but we just don't, not Leprechaun. Right, extra character. I was kind of surprised. I thought that it's a Iris of things. See, but, that's why I didn't want to mention it, because I felt like maybe it wasn't. So we learned something today. I think she say that about the Leprechaun or about the St. Patrick Day itself. I'm not sure. I don't know what I was thinking about earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Betty Boop, right away, which I need to see Betty Boop through my phone. Um, yeah, I need to see that. Betty Boop. Um, I have to add another tab. I think we all want to see you do it. We're here. Instagram. Oculus. Oh, with an Oculus? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to search for Betty Boop. Okay. I think it's in photos. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Lucky me. quick um i'm not gonna use a pencil i'm just gonna use art gel cut these lines right here on are very simple it's not, not like a portrait actually so the brush i'm gonna use i am gonna use seven millimeter this time just to see and i'm gonna take our palette hola hola lily express Hello, hello, chocolate mama. Hello. Okay. Now, first off, one, two, three. Okay. So, 
Oh, her head is about one-fourth of her body. So up here, I want a hat. And it's curved like this. First one, it like a sway. See the sway, and then it's curved. Now, underneath here, I want um, <coughs> the line. This is going to be a band of the hat. So I'm making another line right here. Going straight up. Just like this. Same thing over here. And one little curve. Make sure my breath is very thin so the line is sharp for me. Bell buckle gonna be right here, but we're not worried about it yet. We're gonna go down here for the head. Okay, so the head. This is gonna be the hair right here. Gonna be the hairline. Slant up to the left, slant up to the right, make a curve. It's gonna be her face. Okay. Down here, stop. See, this you curve down now, right here. Stop right here. Cut this with her eyes is gonna be so it's gonna draw her cheek so from here you curve out just a little bit and then curve back in this is gonna be her cheek drag it all the way to the right but drag it upward just a little bit come to here in the middle then drag downward again right here curve up okay Hair, follow this line right here, go and end. Same thing here. This one go and end. Irish soda bread. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. You don't got a new rule. What's that? We're what, talking what? about food. Because <laughs> we are food we're, people. We're her eye is, this is made up of face. Her eye is right below the uh, the boundary. So, this is made up of face too. Her eye is right on the left, right below the boundary. This is a, see, imagine a line going through here. The eye is underneath here. One little circle for the eye. Actually, not yet. I'm just gonna draw like um. When I'm done, I'm just gonna uh, put in some white polish. Erase that one. Usually, I will outline the eye, but I want to try something new this time. All right, so leave the face alone. Something new. It's always something new. Leave the face alone, and then I'm going to draw the body for now. So this is a hand right here. Now make a little loop, just like that. This one, it doesn't have a loop down here, it have a loop up here. Okay. And then another one, put a little 
a loop down at the end. These both are held together. Okay. Now we're gonna draw her four arms. We'll start right here. See the spay at the head, and the spay right down here is equal. Curve in and then up like this. Same with the elbow. Just like that. Okay. Right here, curve out a little bit before you track down wood. Okay, and draw on her arms right here. She had on a mini dress, a green mini dress. One curve, two curve for the cleavage. Then down here, finish the hoop of her bracelet. And then draw in the other hand. It's gonna be going slanted to the right and then slant to the left. And then this one slightly curved to the right. Now, time to draw her back. So from here, you slant it to the left, down to here, and then slant down to the right. About right here. Down to the right, and then slightly curve. Repeated that curve up right here and then you're gonna make a little wave for it from the elbows so just so you have a small waist slant it down and then curve right up just like this See, I'm gonna make sure her back is out a little more. The butt. I wanna make sure that it's out a little <coughs> more. Probably from here. Right here. A little high up. Down. Mm, it doesn't arch enough. It's like she have a baggage. baggage. Yeah, I wanted to arch a little bit more. So from here, and start curving down and curling up first, and then I curve down there. Now her legs, mm, her dress, I do want it to be just a little bit shorter. Sorry, a lot of judgment today. Shorter dress so we can see the legs more. Yeah, I just realized I was wondering why this didn't move, but there was probably 50 questions I just missed because the phone wasn't moving. Oh. Nah, it's okay. Okay. 
Now you curve to the right. Acetone is what he's using the white wood. Mm -hmm. Yes, are you acetone down to the right? And then all the way down. This one slant it to the left and going back down. Something about her butt that I have to add judge. Or oh, it's gonna look funny. Nicole says it's like a high and juicy. I have to add judge this. Good morning, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. I think that's pretty good. Let me see. It's pretty good. And everything's might have to check the hand just a little bit. Becky says, why is it asking me to join the live? Never had it happen before. You know, sometimes it does that. This is Becky. So now we gotta have her turn her hand over and all that stuff. Sometimes it does that. Ignore you know it, Becky. Okay, now I'm gonna pull this over here. There you go. I need this to be perfect. <clears throat> the lives are on tinovo.shop. Mm, okay. All right, that's good. Kia. Now we need some uh, pigment base for the eyes. Just a white polish. Good morning, Candy. Hi, Candy Coated. Yes, this is Betty Boop. It is. That's just a little bit. Because these are just thin lines. I don't need to too much. Two little eyes. Now, see, I'm going to, I don't have to outline this. I need a white fur so it's easy for me to outline later. Actually, I can just pick up from here. Where's it? All right. Let me use an engraver. It's easier for me. Yeah, this is easier. Okay. This one a little bigger. Okay. Now we have that. Let's go ahead and paint some green on her too. Um, you can use art gel, fairy gel. Let's see. Let's use fairy gel. It's quickest. But we have to paint shading and all that in too. So. This is not the only color that it's gonna uh, have on. It's gonna have some stained glass on it too with fairy gel, or just a gel polish will do, a green gel polish. Just like the Pigment Bay also is a gel polish. Mm -hmm. Light green on, and, and I'm keeping the seven millimeter for this. 
you seem to do just a great job yet. I, ha I haven't used a 10 millimeter this morning. It seemed to do a great, great job. And, and then you just cure just for a split second. Uh, I, I cure. Um, you can do full cure. I cure for like 30 seconds and I like, you know, that's enough because this is a up straight line. Uh, I mean, thin line. It don't have any uh, volume or anything. So it it's it not in danger, you know. If you have like a lot of gel, thick line and, and uh, fill in color block and all that, then it's better to do full cure. So it doesn't cause any problem on you, like wrinkle and all that. Okay, now, a little bit right here too. Go ahead and cure. 60 seconds that I'm curing. Absolutely love watching and learning from you. Your video only one I'm watching now. Oh, thank you, Frost Becky. The pigmentation of fairy gel is incredible, isn't it, Queen of Claw? I, I hate to admit it, but for color-wise, it's probably my favorite right now just because it's bright just because it's all the color of the rainbow and it purple though and it purples that's the only thing i need left but i don't need white i need black yeah i need purples you're proud thing i just mix it but it, it's not a priority because you can mix it you can mix purple so it's not really my priority right now okay oh again i don't need to keep much actually um Going in here, we have the eyes, so let's color in the eyes. I would like a different color. I would like turquoise for her eye. You can use the same green colors. I'm uh, putting the turquoise on her. Let's see. Just half her eye, leave a crescent moon of white gel behind. I just want a little different color uh, for the eyes are uh, um, up to you. It doesn't matter what color you use. You just pick a colors. You can do the same green or you can uh, play with a different shade of green. Get this. Hi, hi, sweat is milling. Love you too. Candela, hi, Candela. Hi, C. Nelco. Micro play by Johanna. Say, love your work. You're the best. Thank you, Johanna. He's so fast. Oh. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'll tell you the truth. I I did not wake up early today because last night I had to go to places in my Oculus Meta Quest 2 virtual reality. I go to the beach, I go to the mountain, and then I take my Oculus off and it was 3 o'clock in the morning. So I obviously did not prepare today, so um, sorry if I go a little quick. Wait. So wait, you go to prepared? Yes, because I have, I have to focus. Wow. When I'm prepared, I focus. I put my teaching mode on, you know. Wow. Wow. Like, you know, whatever it is you do in your station, leave it behind. You're teaching now. But this morning, I'm a little off. But did you have fun? I have lots of fun. In the alternative world. In the alternative world. While the dogs and I were starving. Yes. Oh. Suffers, honey. Suffers. Okay. So I have some black on for her. See, no need for a lot of uh, green. 
just a touch to know that something is there. Um, we also gonna add some highlight for her. Let's do it now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zoe. Oh, Zoe, thank you, Zoe. Okay, just a little dot in here. Actually, I'm gonna use my uh, engraver. I need to use it when I can because it does make things easier than just using the brush. It's just sometimes I forgot to pick it up. Hear this? Now I can do the outline and eyebrow and lipstick, red lipstick. So I'm using art gel again, but her lip is small. I don't want to use anything runny, no polish. Polish is semi-transparent. Sometimes I want to use a thick opaque gel for this. This is red, bright red. This is home record red. So I'm going to use a home record red to um, pick out some in the palette right here. That's all I need. Put it back. Okay, now come over here and um, before we put on the red, let's uh, add in some tone and all that for her. Because right now she's flat. She's totally flat. No makeup. Just to the eye. That we that is what we look like before we put on makeup. So I need um I need milk for highlight, and I do need a little brown stained glass number twelve for shadows. And for the um, stamp glass, I am also taking coral. This is number five. It's a pink, but it's also like have a little orangey tone in there. It's a coral. I'm mixing it in so it's not too too brown. It have a little uh, blush in it, like a like a pink brown instead of a, a yellow brown. Okay. So I am gonna outline entirely. Um, let's do uh, another brush for this, a, a thicker brush, like a pointy brush. I love the name Home Record Red, isn't it? It's not the official name. Because there's no way Cindy will put up with it. Cindy like, oh, um, let's not have this name in our website. So I just keep this name. Just know that it's Home Record Red. Okay, now. We're gonna take this um this brown that we mix with coral and we're gonna add it on for her. And you also can draw a black belly boot. Um, if you draw a black belly boob, then you don't have to put highlight in because this color already tarnished. So if you add shadow in, that'd be perfect for her. And if you want to do a white belly boob, then you add highlight in to lighten up her skin. So this color tan nude is somewhere in the middle. So it can be either way. Just some highlights. And a little cleavage highlight shadow right here for her. Okay, just like that. Now, a little shadow right here too. Just like this. Touch it lightly. Okay. Now, the forearm, same things. But up here, just follow this shadow direction. It will help you. God, her skin is gorgeous now, like an Egyptian skin. Cleopatra's skin uh, the other day is by far my favorite. Golden glow, absolute favorite. Oh, yeah, that's it. You can do golden glow highlight. It's 
So right now I'm decide should uh maybe I should stay in the middle. Not too light, not too dark. Make her like Latina. Just like this. Oh man, her skin is gorgeous. It's like honey. Kia her. No, Just, that does not sell press-ons. No, nope, I don't sell press on. But the people that watch me on here, that's what they do. That's it. That's what they do to sell press teaching them to do that. Mm -hmm. They replicate it so they can sell it. That's where you can buy it from them. And then right here too for the shadow. And Kia, just a little bit. Why we add it? Let's go ahead and add in some stained glass for the dress too. Why not? Put a little leg band on. <laughs> uh, bandana? Yeah. Oh, I, I, leg band. I should. I should. I'm not yet. Not yet. Really carry their hair. <laughs> Right now, Betty Boop looking like a snake. <laughs> she don't have a lip yet, you guys. Go easy on her. She don't have a lip yet. Just wait for it. Okay, some uh, shadow for the dress. I need uh, I need ombre brush. For easy, for a little easier blend, just keep staying in that area, area until it's well blend, and then now you move to the right. Keep staying there, and now move slowly to the right. So keep stroking down like that. There you go. Flash here just a little while I'm picking up another colors. Add it right here. Okay. Okay. Up here, look green. Where does this white come from? Right. Oh no, this there's this white thing right here. I don't know where it come from, but we fix it later. Actually, we can fix it now. And a little shadow right here. Just remember all my position of shadow. Follow it exactly like that. Be careful with shadow. It can uh, look pretty funny if you do, do it in the wrong direction. It can look mm, pretty funny. Okay, everything's done. Right here, a little more shadow for her dress right here. Okay. See the see the way her her uh skirt move, you can add shadow in it to create this 3D illusion. Okay. Here. Now time for highlight. Let's see. I can add a little bit of the brown in here just to see how it turned out. Okay, good. So now I have a little tin in it. Time to add it in. So you got a couple questions. Yes. Um, in the same same genre. Mm -hmm. How do you know where to put the shadows? Take it. Oh, I'm just looking um, in the pictures or um, basically um, common sense like this. Like this. So for face, face is easier than you can do your face. You know that whatever it is on your face, it is on the painting with the shadow around here. 
shadow little bit aside beside the nose and little shadow on top of the eye when I'm done. So that is facial. Facial are easy because you do makeup, you know, uh, where to put your shadow. Now the arm, the arm, let's say I pretend my light source is up here. So uh, if my light source is up here, what direction? On the left or on the right? So this one on the left. So it shines through here. So the, of course, when it shines here, then the upper arm going to be light. But the lower arm is going to have shadow because the light is shining from above, right? So when it shines down, it shines onto the top, but the bottom is going to have shadow because the light cannot expose to the bottom. So now this right here is the bottom is about position. See the shadow on this side because the leg on this side is catch on the highlight. But you see this leg is behind this leg, so it has to have shadow. See this shadow underneath here because the tie is up here. When the light shining light to the tie up here, then it have to cascade a little bit of shadow down here because the leg is above, uh, the tie is above the leg. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, the cleavage, the breast, this press right here is highlight. So there have to be shadow right here because when the light cascade into this press, if this don't have shadow, then there's not gonna be two press. There's only be one press. So the light cast onto this press, but this press curve. So when it curve in, then it gonna cascade a shadow into the right press. You see? So it's about position. It's about like like when you make up your face. When you make up your face, there is a certain play when you put shadow right. You're not gonna put shadow right in your eyes or like right in the middle of the nose or right in your mouth. No. You you know where the highlight is on your face, right? And you have to analyze why the highlight is there. Is there a certain, when the light hit, where the shadow will be cascaded, like the cheekbone, right? If you do shadow on the cheekbone, why? You have to know why you don't just put shadow right there just because people tell you to. The shadow is right here on the cheekbone because when light shines in your cheek, if your cheek is higher than the bottom, then the light gonna stay in your cheek and gonna cascade the shadow down here. That's the illusion that women wanna create because it without any shadow right here, then it look flatter because that means your cheek is from the top to the bottom is the same, right? It's the same, so light just hit it, smack in the face. But when women use shadow to make an illusion right here, that means they say to the rest of the world is, my upper cheekbone is higher. And it's a lie, but it, it is how you make the illusion. So you, you gotta think about your shadowing and the, the direction you're shadowing. The direction you, of the light. Oh, yeah. With the eye point right. Cascading. Right. That's why I say if you want it to be easier, you can make, make my shadow pattern. Now, if not, you have to truly analyze where the light and hit. All right. Now, with this, um, it's not bright enough. So. I'm adding just a little bit of white and just a little bit of this. Actually, no, uh, let me redo that. Yeah, milk and um, and I'm gonna put tan nude right here. There you go. That's the color I need to use. Tan nude. Combine, just add a little bit of white, not too much, just like a touch. You said you explained it that in such depth that I finally understand it. Thank you, you are welcome. Okay, now I am gonna put this light consistency right in the middle of a face. Again, this is highlight, just quite the opposite of shadows. Wherever you want the light hit, it will hit. So the light hit right here. And then she have a pretty decent forehead. So some light highlight right here for her. Metal forehead right here. And let's use the ombre brush to make it easier for us. Make sure you clean the green out of it. It's okay if it lay on top of the other color because what back here, it doesn't have color. You only use the tips.
Okay. Here, just a letter. Okay. Now, a little highlight on her breast, right here. And a little highlight on her arms, right here. Little highlight on her legs, so it's nice and shiny. Feels like a Marilyn Monroe's pose. Okay, clear this. And let's add just a little more white to make even brighter highlight inside that highlight. Just a touch, so be very careful because you can always add more. Now, I'm going to use a finer brush, a seven millimeter for this, so I can go in with brighter highlight. No, it's going to be right about here. Blend it out. Good morning, Glamour Girl. Hi, Glamour Girl. Is it a true image? Just a little more, actually. I'll make sure that... But not too much. You can add a little bit at a time. Because it's very easy to be too bright. Then it wouldn't look right. Yes, Glamour Girl, he's doing Betty Boop's. Betty Boop nails. Gotta be better than the one I did in Christmas. It has to be. It has to be better. Oh, yes, he's doing great. We don't ever actually do anything but great. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit right here. <laughs> Last night I had a dream that the dog is like keep barking and barking and barking. It's bark for hour. So so I like yell at it like crazy. And then it's keep barking. And then it's when to how I keep yelling at it. Were they not barking? I don't know. It's a weird thing. <laughs> okay, now no. when it's done, I am going to draw the lipstick. Finally, uh, actually, before I draw the lipstick, let's add a little shadow on top of the eyes. Mm-hmm, look at that. It's her first piece of makeup on. You can see she's already been transformed. Her eye already been better. This is what we do to bring tricks home from the bar. Okay, now um, I'm adding a little shadow right here too. Not shadow, uh, the gel name shadow. Just a black gel polish. You can use just a black gel polish for this. Okay, little shadow right here. The color in her hair. Now, time to draw all the curves in her hair. Now she looks like a little boy. We need to turn home and turn to a girl, so. Little hair right here. Okay. Okay, 
I'm just using shadow still. If it's challenging for you, then you can use art gel. Drag it out with the tips. So above two. Isn't it the type of hair they wear in the 70s or the 20s? 20s more like it. Flapper girl. Flapper girls. That would have been a fun time to been alive. Oh, yes. I would love to live in the 20s. You kidding? Oh, my God. I had so much fun in the 20s. The style. Oh, my God. The fashion. Is. Everything in the 20s. Mm. Art Deco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened? I wonder. What style become trashy over time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, sorry. The 70s. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Oh, wait, the 80. I mean, the 80. Sorry, the 80s. <laughs> Man, the 80. You see the fashion in the 80? My it. lord. <laughs> the fashion in the 80 is quite know. overwhelming. That is so overwhelming. Right. Using emerald for the band in the head. Actually, I don't want to partially cured it because shadow is a nail polish and it's a very opaque nail polish. I'm going to cure it all the way for the shadow. Paul, according to the Book of Dreams interpretation of the dictionary, a barking dog symbolizes the fact that you need to go easier on the people in your life to be less demanding of them. Well, I don't know how you can do Be that. less what? Demanding of them. Been demanding of them. Mm. I think we just really had dogs barking. Okay, now home record red. Home record red gonna be right here. I'm gonna draw two lines going up, and then going down on both sides. That is the upper lips. Okay. And you see the little black line right below her lip. It's perfect. Leave it that way. Leave, leave the black line that way and draw the bottom lips. Okay. And take some black gel. It could be art gel or shadow and just draw a little slit right here for her eye. Uh, I mean for her nose, sorry. Um, here, then we put in eyebrow. So here, put in the band and then we put in eyebrow. Hooker red? No, no, no. Hooker red is not as spry as home record red. <laughs> Hooker red is still working for a living. You gotta respect it. But home record red? It's like mistress. You gotta watch out for home record red. It don't want to work. It just wanna steal your husband. So home record red is much brighter than hooker red. Hooker red is okay. It might have a little glitter on it. You know what I mean? Look, be like a little glittery. That's how you get attention. But home record red is just bright. It's bright like fires. It catch attention. Capture you. Literally. Okay. Now here. Um I am um let me see. I'm gonna leave all the hoop and earring for later. Thank you for clarifying. Oh you're welcome, you're welcome. Remember, book a red and home record red are way different than each mm -hmm. other's. Okay, so now, um, before I continue, I I want to um, you see, have to do something around her. Um, I'm thinking about either rainbow accent or uh, gold. Um. First, I am going to add a rainbow sheen on hers, okay? See how I'm going to do that. 
stained glass gel will be the best. Let's start out with pink. Uh, pink is number six. Actually, let me try the number, uh, number four, pink. Number four, number five is, uh, number seven is light blue. And then uh, I need, I need um, orange, number three. Okay. And a little bit of yellow, but not the bright yellow. Yeah, bright yellow, number one. Okay, so these are the four colors. Uh, see what I mean by not planning because uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do with the background now. Um, if I plan ahead, my background will be rainbow from pigment. But right now, a little difficult to do pigment because if I want to do pigment, all I have to do is uh, pigment block it with shine it, but then I have to go around with like some kind of white or something. But you see the rainbow, I don't want it to be all the way. I just want it to be a little bit. So that means the white, I have to like do some kind of ombre, which is very difficult because Petty Boop is in our way. See, in the way, so right now, stained glass gel is perfect. Okay, sheer. I'm gonna make a little illusion on right here. Little pink. Ooh, see, stained glass gel can save your life. It is very easy, very easy to apply. Very easy to blend. Ah, oh, let's add it um, on the background. Let me see. Mm. The orange right here, perhaps. <clears throat> That's what it looks like in a picture that back part is a backless dress. Mm -hmm. Revealing some skin. Here, this just a little. Um, it's probably good if I mix this pink with this blue to make a light purple because the purple I have are deep, rich purple. Um, I don't want any rich color on here because the background right here, I want like uh, it to re uh, resemble a rainbow, but just a, a, a ray of rainbow. So any deep color wouldn't serve you a good purpose. So I'm, I'm just using light stained glass. The blue in here. A little blue here, right here too. Okay. Little pink right here too. We got the other name. Now there's going to be a rainbow involved. Here. And with this highlight yellow, we're going to go in with this highlight yellow. You know, you teach so many ways. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have to, uh, <laughs> you have to know many ways to save you when you're in need. Without knowing many ways, then, like like I say, I could have done it with pigment for the background, but it's too late now. So this knowledge saved me right now. Okay, if not, then I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? I have to paint the background one colors or something. But right now, I can just add in just like a little ray on her. That's so pretty too. Some blue. Okay, let's see. Hear this? Just partial here. The orange on here too. Okay, hear this? And we're gonna use black stained glass to do one overall shadow around her to make her pop. Number eleven is black. See. 
Oh yes, they last way longer than the press on in store. Mm, um, well, and know how to wear them too, and probably have a file if you have glue or whatever on the press on. You can file it. You can keep the press on forever, because the press on did not fully um, adhere in stone into your nail. You, I don't ever heard of a person breaking their press on. So what the, I never heard of uh, them breaking the press on because you do anything you press on, it's gonna pop up. You know what I mean? So, and it's flexible, it should stay forever. It should last forever. Let's shadow right here. All around her. Pass through all the color. You see how I pass through all the color? Um, this right here, I break a little rules. Usually shadow, I only travel in a certain direction, like above and on the left, you know what I mean? But this one, um, I sure don't want to make her pop. So this shadow, I'm going to go all around her to make sure that she pop out. So the shadow, this shadow is serve a different purpose than to uh, create dimension. It's just to make her pop. Just like that. Oh, he doesn't sell nails. Mm -mm. Everyone in here sell nails. Everybody watching this sell nails. So uh, everyone sell press on. Um, vampire said, your lessons have enabled me to explore outside the box of my comfort zone and realize that I can oh. do things I never imagined with nail art. I am so thankful for that. Oh, I love that. I love progress. I love it. Why aren't you curing anything? Oh, I, I do. I do. So far, I just do the shadows and then this. So you go until you think you're going to mess up in here. Mm -mm. Whenever, let's say the shadow right here, right? If I need to do something around it, then I definitely have to kill it to stay put or I'm going to smudge it. But if I do like, let's say I do a little shadow on here, it has nothing to do with this. Might as well do it right away. Rather than kill and then do it, I only kill when it gets in my way. Because it's multi layer, some layer will get into your way. All right. Now I'm ready to mat this because it's also a uh, neat eyebrow, eyelash, and the dress probably needs some glitters, which I'm not sure. Maybe it's good if it's bright like this. I don't know. So, we are going to do one final kill and then do some math. And after I do tell, you can use the iPad again, Dustin. I will tell you. Mad it, because mad it are easy. This is not final kill, by the way. It's just that I'm done with all the layer that I want. Right now, I'm going to detail it. I'm not going to detail on that because there's lay the different layer, different spot pen is not going to be nice and even for me. That is why I put a top coat on to make everything nice and even so I can paint a little detail over it, you know, across the boundary and everything. Oh, you're straight across straight across. Instead of lumpy. That, yeah, lumpy. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason that you matte because it is easy for you to draw on matte than on shine. So matte it, one coat. Don't have to be thick or anything. Just one normal coat like this. Okay. And then with a clean brush, go on the side. Cause the side wanna be thin, so it's keep the shape. Okay, help turn it upside down too. So it's center itself right in the middle. See, right in the middle of the nail, in the spine of the nail, here. 60 seconds before you uh, detail. Hi, Hannah Deuce. Um, I, um, 
I don't I don't sell now. Um, what I do is I sell products and then I teach. So um, my product you can find on my website and press on now. You just holler. You just holler whoever in here. Um, there is a lot of people in here sell press on. You just holler at them. Or um, sometimes when I post on my story, you know, because when people tag me, um, they I do DM. I uh, I post them on my story. You can see their name, and then you can just call them. Give them a call. Whoever near your area, or if you buy press on, then it doesn't matter where they are anyway. Right. Send it to you. Whoever has the style you like. Mm -hmm. This is black art gels. I'm gonna use art gel because it's I'm in control of the line and everything. <laughs> Look at her, so so smooth and mm, this is cute. Little um, little round between uh, around the eye. I'm just using the tip so it's as thin as possible. One. Mm. Let's see. Five millimeters. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, I'm glad I take out my five millimeter because eyelash or eyelash, I want to be very light so it doesn't take away from the eye itself. Super thin line with the five millimeters. All right, Frosty Becky, you have a great rest of your day. Happy day, Becky. Uh, tomorrow I'm not gonna be on Becky. Um, be on another uh, time tonight, and uh, then tomorrow I'm be up until uh, Monday. Seeing flying. So we should go eat lunch. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I have to make a video though. I have to discipline about the video. Oh my God, the one this morning, you like it? Oh, uh, I, we haven't do a live on that one, but it's too simple. But I need to quit thinking like that because um, in the beginning, I like, you know, I'm only going to be teaching the thing that you know, include technique that are worth teaching. But now I think I should just go live on most of the set. Cause different love people love to see that and the yeah. I judge it on my standards, which is whenever I see something, I don't need to see it once. I don't need to see different design. I just need to see that and I can make my own design. Right. But you see that a wrong judging. Because a lot of people can't think like that. Right. Right. Yeah, so if you're not born in outer space, then uh, this is what we going to do from now on is to just uh, be on here and to do every set. I've been watching you for a decade, and, and, and I'm just going to step to the fact that still, when you start, you never know how it's going to end. You never know how it's going to I never know how it's going to end. Um, I have a, a vision, an idea of where it's going. I can always tell when you get to the vision, though, because you get this adorable little smile on your face. Yeah. Success, and then you start talking, and, and things good from there on out. Okay. So that is her lips. Now, <laughs> she needs a smile. She, she needs to smile. So zoom in. Hello, Julia. Mesa Day love to see your life regardless of what you're teaching. <laughs> I 
Uh, yes, he's going to come on this evening, and then you won't see us again until Monday. Okay. So, I wonder if this looks good. It's a crap shoot. Yeah. I wonder if it looks good. Because I want to add a little white right here. Right now, she looks so innocent and adorable that I don't trust her. So, cook her in. That home record red yeah, lipstick. Yeah. You cannot trust that lipstick. Whenever you see uh, someone who has home record let, let's say you cannot trust it. You cannot allow them to be your best friend. Cause you know that home record red lipstick, you know what that's for. <laughs> you know why they put it on. <laughs> Especially at barbecue, you know what? <laughs> when you do barbecue and they walk into your backyard with that home record red, you kick them out the door right away. You cannot allow that home record rat to be anywhere near. Idiot of men. Mm-hmm. Well, you'd be sorry. It's Nikki, trust me. It's very sneaky. Uh, tonight will be six central. Six central time. Uh can we get a heads up for tonight's dime? You can use this, cousin. For tonight what? Tonight's design. Ah, I don't know. <clears throat> you didn't even have this one planned out. Oh no, no, not the app, not the app. The Instagram. Uh. Oh. Is it? Yeah, that's it. Um. Now I'm gonna add some white highlight for her too. Okay, you don't have to, but um, this is ten millimeter. I don't know why I grab it. I need a seven millimeter for sure. Got this teeny tiny little line. So I'm using seven millimeters and dipping it in and stroke it out so it's loaded with gel and it's skinny. Now going in and okay, you don't have to do this, but look how pretty it is when I do it. That is pretty. <laughs> Good question. What is the home record sign for gay men? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, but all gay men is home records. <laughs> Don't be mistaken. It's, it's, it's in our blood. Okay. Yeah, we are fabulous. We're fabulous and we get in attention no matter where we go or what we wear. So trust me, all gay men is home records. But luckily, you know, I mean, if a gay man that can steal your husband, then he not worth keeping. Cause right. now you know he's gay, right? Or at least bi. Mm -hmm. Or at least bi. Temptational. Right. Okay. See that white just change everything, isn't it? Sharon mm -hmm. says, as an Irish family, they celebrate St. Patty's in the pub. <laughs> in the pub, yes. We have pub crawls. Someone asked, but I'm not sure what they're asking, but um, what magnifier lamp strength are you using? Does it have a light? This right here? The lamp that I'm using, meaning the flash key or the full lamp? I'm not sure. 50 volt is a full lamp and 6 volt is a flash key. Ooh, good question. How do you know where to put the white? Oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, God. The white is totally like, it's not a rule. It's not like a shadow or highlight. It just, it just what the Russian do to make the art look so pretty. Uh, if it seems weird like this, then you erase it. Um, that's just, just what the Russian do. The Russian, they do that. Um, 
it's just uh in the moment that's why i say you don't have to do that because it's not a highlight or it's not a shadow it just it's just beautiful you just um whatever like let's say this side you know it's too dark then it's separated like like this let me show you like this this dress right here this again the background is like mm, that's no not a lot of depth you know what i mean that is the shadow but i'm gonna add a highlight behind the shadow so now it it look a little more depth you know it's separate thing it's making thing not boring it's waking up <laughs> that makes sense there's no uh, solid way to explain in this so it just wake it up see how boring this is though door so this highlight is just like add a little energy into it see it see this little butt right here shadow is behind it but if you add a little highlight for the shadow it's gonna make it pop the reference is they make it, it makes it more playful playful yes yes Good yes word. man russia is so like ahead of us right now if i want to go anywhere to study now in the whole world i would go to russia for sure the lab Russian master there that their skill is way above and beyond us. It's just that we are creative. But the technique, foreigner are definitely way above and beyond. Ooh, look at how juicy the leg is. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is Betty Boobs. Okay. We are gonna do plot for her all around her. This belly boob, you guys. Okay. This and this have plot on it. How I'm gonna do the plot though. Let's see. Um, I'm thinking about a sway or tips. Probably a uh, Okay, so I sway this, kill this, and then mat it. All right, now this I am gonna take green fairy gels. Okay, drawing a tip it can be a French tip, can be a sway tip, whatever you, you like. Hi, I love in three one three. Every time you do this, it looks better than picture. Thank you. Okay, just straight down. <laughs> just like this, just straight down. Miss Jackie, uh, this is the classes he teaches Hi. online. Hi, Jackie. For free. All right, now I'm gonna do this too. Yesterday what? Yesterday's hearts. What we do yesterday? I don't remember. Uh, heart, heart, heart. Yesterday, St. Patrick Day, uh, uh, we do bell buckles. I just no heart yesterday. I didn't do any heart. I don't remember either. Oh, 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 I, I get it. Oh, I remember. Where is it, by the way? Oh. Oh. does it does not part of it though it's not part of it but good car it does it's not part of it i wonder if should i do this no no it's pretty that's why you remember it is optional yeah it's pretty all right so let's see
Okay. Do you think the sway look good, Dustin, or it should be the tips? Like a normal French tip. Let me see. I like the sway. You like the sway? Yeah. Because it flows with the dress a little bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, before that, I'm going to take my ombre brush and I'm going to uh, lighten up the gel around it so it's not misshaped uh, on the gels. This brush is not a solid brush, so it doesn't cut streak into your nail. Only a solid brush will take too much paint up and going to leave streak. This one, see how everything smoothed out <coughs> after I brush it? So ombre brush can use to reduce in gel too. So not too much gel, especially near the tip. You see, when you do now, there's usually gel around the uh, right that the tip and it make the tip bulky. These can take up gel of the tip. See that? So now it's nicely shaped. Hear this? Now, plot wise, I need uh, a darker green. Emerald will be the way to go. However, it's a little too dark. So I just need to lighten it up a little bit with a green art gels. This black will be different, um, easier than the last black. The last black I have to draw. This black I'm gonna stroke using a stroke brush. So green art gels. And emerald art gels. Little more emerald. I use the mixer because sometimes I use the brush. I only mix what on top, but in the bottom, still have green on it. So that's why I use the mixes. Okay, now I'm going to use stroke brush. So this brush called stroke. Okay, it looks like this, like a flat brush, but it's smaller. Make sure I clean this truly so it's flexible. Work it in with the gels. Work it in. And stroke it out to see it's not uh it's not deep enough. Let me see if I use just emerald because it looked deep in the bottle, but when I stroke it it's might be different. Can we use color theory and mix any product like gel like polish? Yes, gel? together. Yeah. You can mix polish and gel together. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna use emerald. I'm just gonna use only emerald. Forget the green. Okay. Do Miss Piggy Wonder Woman and the Flintstones in the near future lives? Maybe. Uh, the Flintstone is uh, probably more I'm familiar with the Flintstone. Uh, I don't know uh, Miss Piggy, so I have to watch Miss Piggy. <laughs> I, I don't um, I don't uh, grew up with Sesame Street. Um, oh, the Monster Cookie. Oh, it just popped the into monster my mind. Cookie. The, the monster, monster Cookie. cookie. The Cookie Monster. The Cookie Monster, um, I also like it. Matte everything. Before you stroke it, you do matte. So it's easier for uh, the gel that he has. Hear this? Yeah, the, I love the monster, uh, the Cookie Monster too. I need to do that uh, sometime later too. Remind me, please. Don't make me forget. Don't let me forget. I'm very forgetful. I might have some good ideas. Now, yeah, it's not forgetful, baby. It's in the moment. I'm in the moment. Yeah, I'm in the moment. All right, Quayle, Hollywood, you have a great day. We will be on tonight at 6 Central. 6 Central. And someone's wanting to know about how you clean your art brushes. I brought right here. See, when you're done with this, what you're going to do is you're going to wipe it like this. Okay, so the little bit of gel is left so it can keep your brush nicely in shape. Or you can just go ahead and clean with acetone or alcohol. And then if it dry and brittle like this, then before you put it into your cap, you have to have some kind of top coat. 
let you like a little bit of shine it some, some kind of top coat to make sure that it's conditioned because if it's not conditioned then it's gonna be ruined be um it's gonna die quicker okay see some top coat in here and just wipe it up so really we shouldn't even thank queen brushes we should say keep things conditioned condition keep them conditioned you see that it's all nice and conditioned because when you wipe it you're not taking the gel all the gel away you still have a little gel on the surface see how nicely shaped it is how sharp it is is a uh, stroke brush right here and the next time you take it out before you use another color if that color is in the field with the other color you can uh, go ahead and clean that before you use it so uh, one of my brush I always um, I always have it without any gel in about a few seconds in each interval. Okay, so I'm stroking it in. Straight. <laughs> Lightly. Just for you to get a pattern down. Good. Now you can go over it again. Okay, and uh, later on you can you can clean both sides with another brush, with an angle brush. Right now, you just need to put in this stripe in. Just straight down. Remember, these are coffin tips. Very light. Oh my god, they're double watching you, honey. Double I watching one me? One video on the TV and then this one. <laughs> uh, Could this gel have a no run technology? So if you put on a layer, if you put on another layer, it's gonna stack on top of it. But more gel, when you stroke it again, it's just gonna be running everywhere. But this gel, you see, I don't care it. I just keep stroking it on and it's stacking on top of each other. Liquid gel doesn't do that. When you stroke your first stroke and then your second stroke down, then what happens is the first stroke is going to get disturbed. It's going to be streaky. But this gel right here, you can just keep stacking it on top of each other. That's why it's perfect for long work, but for one stroke at the same time because of the Northern technology. Okay, now I need to cleanse and I'm going to use, oh, nail brush and uh, ankle brush. <laughs> so it's called ankle. Okay. That's how I spell ankle in a long time. <laughs> so now, yeah, I did. I'm like, oh, I feel like an ankle today. <laughs> I feel like a beautiful ankle today. My teacher keep uh, fixing me, but <laughs> keep always with the L before the E. I'm using alcohol. I'm in the mood for alcohol now. Cause I want to take my time and uh, messing with Aston for too long would ruin your brush. So I'm not cleaning. I'm just um, wiping the gel off the nail. So I might repeat multiple times. So uh, I would love to use alcohol to make my brush safer. Alcohol can be 70%, it can be 90%, uh, um, whichever. You just need something wet and evaporate. Alcohol will do that. Water will not do that. You see right here, I have a lot of alcohol, so it's bleeding out. So try your best not to have a lot on your brush something wet so it's able to remove and gel right here see how it's really nice and straight angelic 
Vampire said people have always spelled her name like that. <laughs> yeah, angles. I feel like a beautiful angle today. Great news. Said she had to leave. She couldn't concentrate because she had a client. Oh my lord! She finished her up so she could get done that more money to buy more products. Oh my god! But it's oh my god! It's, it's hilarious. I love it. It's hilarious. Uh, what brush are you using to clean up, honey? It sounds like me. Ankle. The ankle brush, because the reason is it's not a flat brush. Okay. Let me show you the difference. Look at my flat brush. Okay, my flat brush, I can only go like this. That's all I can do. Try to go, go like this. That'd be hell. See that? All I can go is stroke like this. That's all I can do with my flat brush. However, the angle brush, you can go like this, but you can also go like this. See that? See how the, 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 the bristle just line up together, almost like a line up brush. Okay, you can go like this. So, so this you can clean as a flat brush, or you can use this side, the taller side, to clean. Okay, and that also acts as a uh, also a liner ish too. Or the, the short side. You see, whenever you want to go somewhere narrow, you don't want to do this, so you want to tilt it like this. And the moment you touch in your brush, all the bristle is lining up. See that? So it allows you to travel into more spaces. Okay. So th that is a unique build of the angle brush that can come in very handy in a certain task. Oh, see, see that? Yeah. Now you see how it moves. Okay. And I can use a long way too for this. Sorry, my stomach is growling. I must be hungry. Okay, Kia, please. See, we think alike, honey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. So now you, you you know what I'm doing. Sorry, I didn't really explain it totally, but that is why I use the angle brush because I was built. Cash face. Says, why am I holding my breath while you do this? We all do. Anytime he's doing line work, it seems like we all. Oh, I'm just cleaning. I'm just cleaning. Oxygen. <laughs> no, you're doing that straight line. Oh, okay. And uh, if you accidentally removing a little bit of green, don't worry about it. We're gonna frame it later. Okay. Okay, now this side. Yeah, last time I did this, I uh I take a liner brush. And I painted this. So I have a, a streak and then the surface wasn't mad neither. So there are these little um Rich dragon marks. Yeah, the gel it should not smooth. Um it moves, you know, because the surface is not matte, it adheres nicely. So a sharp edge like this a few seconds later is like funny. It's uh no longer crisp. It's no longer crisp. So the technique on flat definitely been improved since then. Actually, it's improved right away. The next day, it's just that uh, you haven't seen another plaid since then. So now you get to see another plaid. And, and I have a feeling this might be last plaid in a long time. Kill this. See what, what, um, Holiday, that neck of that. 
I've, I've never personally associated plaid with the holiday. Maybe Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not a big plaid guy. Either. But plaid can, you know, it, it can be very fashionable lately. It, it can. I like it more ever since you served in the Chanel tweed, even though that's not yeah. plaid. It makes me feel better about it. Uh, is that art gel green? Yes, it is. See the northern technology? I can just apply it all over and over and over. It will stack on top of each other. Apply it lightly. And make sure you don't uh, do it too, too dark. Okay, that's Keep the brush flat. There you go. What does that mean? Spring? Spring is definitely here, yeah. It's like, remember last year? It didn't start to like end of June. Right. Good morning, Bonnie Nails. Hi, Bonnie. The straight plaid, uh, the across plaid is, I find it more challenging than the um, straight down because it's, the nail is curved, so I have to adjust my angle every time to make sure my brush lay flat instead of pointing with the tips. That way it will be softer for the gels. Straight down, it's just one angle, but <laughs> across it's curved. Okay, now. Well, as a guy that's not big on flat, it looks very eye curly to me. Yeah? Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm going to add black in the middle, too. I told you my my mission this week is to make St. Patrick acceptable. Acceptable? <laughs> it's not very acceptable. If you notice, everyone in my circle right now, are, are, no one put in St. Patrick out yet because the, they're waiting for the other one. Too. They're waiting for the other one? <laughs> yeah, they're like, you go first. Let me see what you can do. You go first. Everyone is fearful of St. Patrick Day because this green but by now they should uh have some patrick hour ready but now they they're digging around with flowers and all that because like mm, i'm not going first <laughs> me neither i mean you see me booting mermaid out unicorn out i haven't booted some patrick out yet because i like will someone pose make us some patrick pose so i can i can compare please so I can boost a better one out. <laughs> wow. But yeah, no one has done it yet. We are waiting for each other's. No, you go first. Kill this. For some reason when you said that, I had a vision of the old gopher game at the arcade where the head pops up and then you bonk it with the sledgehammer. <laughs> there it is, bonk, get it. Cuban Joe says, I miss you guys. Uh -huh. We miss you too. 
Good afternoon, Tiki. Hi, Tiki. Tiki, Tiki, honey. Oh, it's not Tiki. No. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Whack a mole. That's it. Yeah, whack a mole. Whack a mole. I, yeah. I don't think I have a childhood. How do I not know all this crap? Honey. What? What the hell is whack a mole? When we went traveling right here, we we did all that fun stuff. Oh, that that yeah. not oh. Now when we went out of the arcade, we won that snake. Yes, is that whack a mole? No, but it was in there and we played it. It was one of those little gopher things come up, moles come up, and you hit them in the head. Oh. Yeah, I remember because you were having so much fun. You're like, ee, you had both hands and you were. And it's called whack a mole. Uh huh. Well, we played it. And you had a lot of fun. light and flat so it doesn't take away the first layer now clean see this is better than just drawing with a liner brush because it will take forever this one make it easier Now, my friend, after this is when we use the line of brush. Keep this. Okay, <clears throat> with black. Here I go. Black art gel. Take it out using seven millimeter brush right here adding black in just like that hi bethany whack-a-mole yeah, game to take out the frustration oh my gosh you can buy whack-a-mole game okay now i am gonna take art gels Actually, number five, this is a little small. Number five, this make me feel safer than number seven for this task. Let's zoom in so everyone can see my mistake. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now straight. There you go, new shirt. using the tip just drawing the line it's not very difficult because you already have the line right here which you need to so you have a send up direction already so you need to be patient with this now straight to okay off, off screen a little bit We're not going to fill it in. We're going to kill it right away and then we're going to fill it in. Because sometimes too much gel, it could uh, disturb the, the, the sharpness of the edge. And uh, I prefer to use shadow. Like push it out of way. Mm -hmm. I prefer to use shadow because it's liquidy. I just drop it in into the middle of all this edge. I just drop a, 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 a lemon black gel. Drop it in the sink, and you will have your plaque. Okay. You know it's funny because here this in a non-artist mind, it's like, well, these are just squares. It shouldn't be that complicated. Mm -hmm. and yet you seem to be putting more focus on this than you did the Betty Boop. I want it to be sharp, very sharp. I can tell.
so easy. And I'm holding it a little closer to my brush. The closer it is, the more control you have. But of course, my hand is also touching the nail, so I make sure everything is nice and dry. When you hold it closer to your brush, it looks like you're holding a pen instead of a brush. For a line like this, it's better to hold it like a pen. It requires control. Make sure that your ring finger and your pinky is grounded, stable, and then only move your middle finger and, and your thumb. Only move it down just a little bit and then stop. See that? So basically, your entire hand is solid like this. See? Don't move solid. See, it's stable right here. Doesn't move at all. The thumb and the middle finger and the index doesn't move too. Hold it very close. And all you have to do is looking at the this finger right here. The index, the thumb, and the middle finger. You just hold it right here and you move it down and stop. Down and stop. See that? Down and stop. That's it. Yeah. And then you are taking shadow or black gel. Make sure it's kind of opaque for your art. If I use shadow to draw the edge, it definitely would not be this crisp. But shadow is the best for fill in like this. I slap it in the middle and then I use the tip to guide it out onto the edge. I already cured this by the way, so the edge is completely solid for me. That's why I cured it first. Mm -hmm. Right now the edge doesn't move, it doesn't change. All I have to do is fill in the space in between. See, breaking it apart like that will make my job very easy. I don't have to go back and fix anything. Which was save time. It was save time. Slap in the middle, slap in the middle. See, because if all these lines are still wet, then it's going to be unstable. I can have flash here in between. It's very, it's a lot of hassle for that. It is the best. We, we grew up with paint by numbers. We Oh, you do? <laughs> Paint by numbers. Who will ever do that? Uh, <laughs> Paint by numbers. Us who want to be artists, but never... What a wannabe. Yeah, I mean, there was like a whole decade we were running around like, like, like Boo. horses and, then... and all these fantastic artworks that, that still suck, actually. It's kind of sad. You know what? Yeah. I'm about to have 10 different gel polish, but very good gel polish for paint and for line work, that's why I didn't tell her. I want to tell for for mm -hmm, line work, but not, not necessarily for side, but just a little bit thicker than the normal polish, but not as thick as gel paint. Mm, I tell her that, but I tell her I want to name it colors with a K. Oh. But I'm thinking paint by number wouldn't be too bad, don't you think? Uh-uh. Paint by numbers. May, but that's too long to put it in there. Yeah. Maybe I just make a category called paint by numbers. I don't know. No. I like paint by number though. That that comes that names. And there actually was a little bit of learning to that. I didn't learn anything, but to paint by number, what do you learn? Well, you still make mistakes. Like if you maybe did your number three paint before your number seven. Oh, you know, I mean, oh. There are already two trial and error mistakes in there because you can't okay. really just grab it. There is an order to it. Okay. Okay. Non artist people are very interesting. <laughs> Hear this. Well, at least we can paint a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I paint a prop. <laughs>
Oh, I paint a wall with a brush and doesn't make fun a of big me. wall with a two inch brush. And he was moving so slow that it paint it, it wetted up all the previous dry paint in the wall created the seed bubble peeled off. Well, he asked me why I was doing Tai Chi, so I was doing Tai Chi with my brush. <laughs> This one gonna be a part of gold. Rainbow gonna be in it too. Kill this. Black metallic, metallic gel paint is not available on the site. There is no black metallic gel paint. Oh, black metal effects. It's not yet available. It's, it haven't arrived. It's almost arrived, but it haven't arrived. Okay, now this one, I am going to matte this, and then I'm going to dress it up with gold. So, matte it. And, and by the way, it's also need you to uh, be able to view this like a pro, okay? Because right now, when you're looking at it, what do you see? All this glare. Okay, the glare is something that an amateur get caught up with. Glare, distraction. Mm -hmm. They keep they keep messing with it because like it's not perfect. It's lumpy. It is not perfect. Okay, you have to remove the glare completely from your uh, peripheral vision right here. See, peripheral vision. Ah, uh, completely. Now, peripheral vision. I just literally. Pick a random word. I felt like that. Yeah. But anyway, you just have to remove the glare. Oh, by the way, when I speak English, it's like when I draw, I do freestyle. So sometimes it's like, <laughs> sometimes I choose random word. Freestyle words. It's not might be what I mean, but sometimes I wanna good. I wanna like I wanna say something. But I might not pick a correct word. I just pick a random word. But that is what I mean. Like that time when my friends uh, want to say squash, squash waters into my face. Oh. He like, what? What, what, what does that mean? I said, no, squash water into my face. And he like, I still don't understand what that means. <laughs> like, you know, squash waters. <laughs> I said, it doesn't matter how many times you do it. Right. I don't understand it. <laughs> You mean splash? I'm like, yeah, yeah, so what I mean? Squash, squash water into your face. <laughs> so sometimes I make random words to, to further explain myself. Part of gold will be right here, so um, definitely need a white ombre. Okay, let me see. Got it. Okay, so a green now ombre. Right. He said, I hope the most of the thing you say on here is already in production. I would hate for someone to come out with the color line before you, for example, the K, but we asked. If asked, we heard it here first. Yes. <laughs> you know. Yes. But you know, really, we don't care what other people do. We don't. It comes down to it. I don't. Um, I don't care. I don't care. Ooh. Everything I do is righteous, so I don't care what other people do, even if they come out first and they say, we "Oh, just, do you know, copy me." We just hope they do care. it right. Right. I don't care. We just hope they do it right. Okay. Now. Um. Hey, John. Hi, John. Speak to the devil. Uh, let me see. Green. This green. I'm not going to do a sponge gel ombre. I'm just going to do a brush gel ombre this time. Because I have more to do. Let's make it quick. This ombre doesn't need to be flawless because it's just a background. I just uh, cover my background 
so I can paint on this. You're not gonna even see the ombre. I just wanna fill up the color first. It's gonna be a pot of gold. Pot of gold. Mm -hmm. Just a dry brush. Dust it up. La, la, la. I'm even supposed to say it next. Uh, when, yes, it's blow Wednesday. We can go to Bowie. You wanna go to Bowie? Well, we have to get there before we get back here by six. What time is it now? One? They close between two and four. Yeah. Oh, two and four. Oh. They don't run back up till four. Oh. Wow. What kind of glue do they use to glue these nails? Crystal magic glue. And oh, glue this nail onto the hand. Um, kiss glue. Kiss up good. Uh, press on glue. And. Yeah. Kai Anna's creation, which may be Sienna, Jenny's daughter, uh -huh. I'm not sure, but wants to know why uh, she flipped the nail over. Uh, flip the nail over? Upside down. Oh, because whenever you have liquid on the surface, you have to know that this is not a flat surface. It's a curved surface. See that? It's curved. So when the liquid on, gravity is going to take hold of it and they're going to drag it down. So it's going to make it fat from both sides, like a love handle, you know, like what I have right now. Um, so what I do is I turn it upside down, and that way, it again, gravity takes hold, so it drags from both sides into the center, the spine. Make your nail skinnier, keep shape, keep it in shape. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and put uh, some gold pixie gel right into the green to enhance it. <laughs> Just a light, light touch at first. So press on only stay on for about a week. Yeah, but you know, you less or more is up to you. Um, as a nail tech, who may press on for people? You, you don't need, to, if you're nail tech and you may press on people, you doesn't need to know how long they can keep it on. You just need to make a nail and, and give it to them. Press on people can handle it. They have wear it for years, they know what to do. You don't have to worry about that. You just make a nail and give it to them. <coughs> yeah. Wine for live Q and A. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Same. Some time ago, I um, do a live with him. Why would we do that? Mm -hmm. He wants to. Uh, a lot of people in the industry have questions or something. I don't know. I don't know when, though. Could we do live again? Okay, mm hmm. My opinion is always uh John, we spent two years with you. If, if they want to answer good. questions, they can get on here. I like that. Or they can go there, but I don't think we had that. I like this. What if you have a different answer than him? Me? I always have a different answers. Right. So, <laughs> you know. Okay. Man, I don't know. And then if we get drunk, you know, I'm going to drink too. That's good. Oh, God. People's feelings will get hurt. John, this is not a good idea. Jesus. See, one line is not enough for me. I have to do another one. Well, and then he just excluded me. It's specifically... Just, oh, yes, he only he invited me. That, uh, that's, he does live he's, Q and a He's only... Uh, he only invited me. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, you can't go to the crowd with that day. <laughs> Anyway, back to our food. We're, we'll let the universe guide us. As soon as we get done, I'll make I'll schedule an appointment for four. If there's one there, we'll know we can get there, eat, and come back. Okay. Does that work? Okay. All right. Um, Dubai? Oh, make an appointment at four. Okay. Then that that gave me time to finish my video and edit my video. Because yes. tomorrow I'm busy. I couldn't do it. Hear this and keep this. Okay.
Now, the part of go is going to be like right here. It's a part of go, right? So I am going to take white and I'm going to like give it a little halo right here and paint it yellow. Okay? Because it's going to be halo coming out of the part of go. So um, now is when I use my ombre. Because I want it to be nice, airy, and even. Yes. Let me see. Okay, now some, um, let's do some pigment base. We could get great juice and act like we're drinking. Don doesn't know we quit drinking ever since we've not been hanging out with him. We quit drinking now. That's some quick thinking. Boy, the pot habit went up, didn't it? Yes. We smoke more. Yeah. But pot is legal here now, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> if I do, um, if, um, if we do a live with him, I think we can only afford an hour, but I don't know when, because I work every single day. I feel like John's gonna have to do like he used to and tell us when we're supposed to be there. Yeah. You hear that, John? That'd be the best bet is you tell us when would be the best time and then we'll work towards it. Other than that, we will just keep forgetting. See, I told you, you're not gonna see an ombre at all. That's why I didn't do sponge, because you're not gonna see an ombre at all. Uh, this white, white is going to be right here. Okay, good. Okay. You might not have any idea what's going on right now, but you will, like, very soon, you will you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what it is. Just give it a little more. Okay. Just take it out. Actually, keep it in. Okay, now. I am um, yellow stained glass gel. That would be good. Okay, so I'm going to take black art gel. Okay, these black art gels. Using a 10 millimeter, drawing a line about right here. curve line. Now make it thicker, not in viscosity, but in uh, dimension. Disgusting. I feel so intelligent with all these big words. You really? I was like, wow, that is... Take that, my English teacher. <laughs> Take that. What accent, my English teacher? What accent? for the part of gold. Like a balloon. Okay. And then let's fill it in first before we do anything else. Let's fill it in with shadows. Got some shadow right here. Let's fill this in. La 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 Okay. So, don't look at the black. Don't look at the black. Okay? Do not look at the black. Look at the green. Please, look at the green. I'm going to curve and soften up the edge of the screen. Okay. Now, come over here. Don't look at the black. Please, look at the green. Soften up the edge of the green. All right. Now, down here, another curve. Pile over this. 
and slanted end from both sides. Okay. Okay. And curve right here. Curve right here. You don't have to go too much. Actually, you might have a little bit right here. But for the other side. Just like curve for, for the other side. Okay, let's see. Before we kill, let's see how it's fit the whole thing. Oh, good. Oh, Betty, are you ready? Kia this. Betty about to have some money, some gold. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, do you speak Spanish or hablo poquito español? Uh, luego entiendo más español, pero ahora hablo poquito. What? Yeah. ¿Qué dice? I think all you had to say was seat. I think all you had to say was seat. ¿Qué? ¿Qué dice? No more two ¿Qué dice? Seat. Pop your eyes in there. You know, you didn't have to. Because what is what I learned first? Yeah, well. Uh, Spanish, the tongue. <laughs> okay, now. Pop girl needs to be shaded with highlights. Okay, now um, I need uh, milk. Milk top coat going in. Okay, now take this and one line across here. Zoom in so you can see. It's perfect. No need to mix anymore. It's perfect. Again, a black background. And okay, now. Like this, okay. And on my brush, please. <laughs> please see my nails. <laughs> okay. okay, now brush it out. Just keep doing it until it's even with just a tip. Just a tip. Just the tip. Don't dip too much in. Just like that. See that? All nice and even here. And then some um, some pigment base. Now we're gonna make it darker. Okay, so we're gonna take some white, but don't put too much. That why pre mix it because people mix too much. Just a tiny bit, barely see because this is clear. Remember, this is clear milky top coat. A little bit go a long way. It will show a lot, which is a little bit of white right here. Let me see. See how far it go. It's just a tiny bit right here. I can create more dimension for it. Like a glow technique. Okay. La la. Okay, now let's see anything I need to do on this side. Time to do it now. Here. All right, now. Actually, wait a minute. Keep wonder if it need a little bit of this. 
what is the best full nail tip that would stay on more than a week? No, no, no. It's, it's not the nail tips. It's a glue. It's a wavy white here. See? It's not a nail tip. Whatever nail tip you use, even if it's really quality or really crappy, it's not going to break because it's pressed on. The only time the nail tip needs to be quality is when you do gel extension because you literally adhere it to people now with gels. So it's, it's now it adheres, so it's not going to talk off. It's either bend or break. So that is when you need the best nail tip. But for press on, you can use crappy nail tip because it's not fully adhered to your nail. You just glue it. So if people bump it, it's popping up. It's just a temporary thing and be prepared to put it right back on. Right. I never heard of a situation where people break their press on. It's, I, I it's, haven't either. It's never happened. Either it's on or it's pop up. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that your nail tip is quality or non-quality. It's just because of the glue. People use the way people glue it. Mm, if people put a lot of glue on the nail, then it stay on longer. If people prep their nail free of oil, it will stay on longer. Um, if they just use adhesive pack, then it's going to stay on a little bit shorter. Mm, people that wear press on doesn't necessarily need it. To, see, us nail wear is different. We don't want anything to happen to our nail. We want all ten finger at all time. Right. Press on people don't do that. I, I, a lot of my friends that do press on that, that wear press on, they say they don't want to wear it more than a week. They want to change. You right. know, actually they want to change it every day. You know, today they want to wear this set. Tomorrow they want to wear a different set. It's not like a gel extension wear when you have to deeply and go and, and get completely replaced. Right. The like and embed uh, the design onto your nail and when it's time it's all out. It's not like that. It's not like that. Our press on well are different. What's the best glue for gel X? Mm, glue for gel X? Mm, you can use crystal magic glue. I use it glue runstone. It can glue uh nail very good, but it's not gonna be healthy for your nail bed. Mm. Um, if a moderate glue, like, like kids now have good glue, it's built for press on. Um, I just assume that you put glue on your nail, it's not going to be healthy at all. It not, I mean, it's not going to ruin your nail, but by far it's not going to be healthy. So you might as well choose the glue that people use for rhinestone. It's just you don't want to glue it on too much that if you're not doing a good job, water will get in it and it will cause stringy bacteria. You don't want that neither. Uh, buy uh, buy like kiss glue, and buy one of the adhesive tab because you can glue it onto the adhesive tab, and then you can glue the adhesive tab to press on. Some gold right here. Uh, yes, it's being recorded. Why did we say something bad? <laughs> Kill this, <laughs> and um, you need. You need a yellow, but not the highlight yellow. You need number nine. That is a color of gold. You need that. You need that colors, okay? You can use a little bit of the highlight, but just a little in the center. That's it. That's it. Like this. So let's start out with the this yellow right here. Okay, we're going to start that out with stained glass gel, by the way, number nine. Now, blend it all throughout. Let's see how I do the white. See that? Now, see that tiny little white right there? That is your highlight yellow. Hear this? And then we have your highlight yellow on. Okay? Bum, 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 bum. Cool. <laughs> okay. Our question answers. Yep. I love these brush holders. <laughs> <laughs> because I know no one can have it. It's an antique. Okay. Now, oh, not too much. Not, don't care too much. Because now I'm going to use that highlight yellow. Okay. And make sure my brush is clean. Okay, highlight yellow, number one, stained glass gels. Let's see, Let's see this. 
there. Now, why would we like it is yellow to be on here? Do you like this yellow to be on here? I do. Okay. Because it's such a like it's right there. The gold is so shiny that it's reflect yeah. Yeah. onto the bottles. I got it. That makes sense. Yeah. But I still have to jump in with this yellow, uh, yellow, um, go yellow, the yellow oxide. Sorry. It's like that art thing that has the, you know, how much. Hola, Cuba. Oh, he's saying nails. Yeah. It is. That is a, a illusion that we are going after. So you're there. This, uh, boring yellow. Oh, right here. Uh, I mean, oxide yellow side. Oxide yellows. Sorry, sometimes I'm just give it random name, nicknames. Nickname. I'm not very nice to my product. Sometimes I, I give it nickname, like the home record red. Okay. Okay, let me see this. Okay, tear this, and then we're gonna take glam's gels. Glam gel, where are you? Oh, glam gel, how I love you. I love glam gel. Take it out. This is a uh, gold glam gel. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. So, glam gel, this is color called gold, I, I believe. Or, oh, I give the numbers. Um, taking some glam gel out. That's it. Oh, there's Nora, honey. Finally. Hi, Nora. Okay. With an ombre brush, I'm picking up some clams. And I'm putting clam right here. Yes, stained glass gel is similar to jelly. Yes. Right here. And Okay, now we'll go back and see. Let me see. I don't need a lot of glitter from both sides. Hey, Dawson, do you think this is a good idea? It's kind of cover up the glow a little bit. This? It does cover it up, but then again, I kind of like it, but I don't, if that makes any sense. It makes sense. I want it to be in there. I think maybe the shine is distracting our brains. No, it's not that. The like glow it. is beautiful just by it itself. Is. It really is. So, maybe I'm just mounting the, the, the glow yeah. a little bit right here. Because the the, the 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 glow is absolutely breathtaking. Go somewhere right here. Fill it up with a little bit of gold. Maybe oh I have oh I have gold uh dropping on uh, underneath it. Oh yeah. It's it's like it's oh it's, yeah it's too much gold it's too much right here. It's it's dropping too. down. Okay. <laughs> okay, see that? Okay, just like this. Let me see. I don't still don't know because the green is just pretty by itself. No go on the floor, you're right. I will hate to say it. I will hate not to do this, but you don't is when I bump into something that are beautiful that I don't want to ruin. I have to decide do I want this gold to be cascade or do I want this glow? Here this. I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this. That's it. Just like this. No go on the floor neither doesn't it look funny. Just like this. I thought, this is good. Yes, that's perfect. This is good. Perfect. That is perfect. Here this. 
See what happens every time you break out glitter? No, uh, go trip, go trip. Let me see. Uh, it's too. I, I think right now it's no trip. absolutely perfect. Yeah, no trip. Okay, so now I'm showing you how to do a rainbow, like an actual rainbow. Okay, gonna be done all with stained glass gels only. Number four. Number seven. Number two. Number three. And um, pink, purple, blue, three colors, green, yellow, and orange. Okay, number one. Okay, now I'm gonna do a rainbow. So um, I'm gonna use a pointy brush. What's happening? Huh? Now I'm gonna have a rainbow. Orange. Okay, what way I'm should do it? Sorry, I'm distracted. I lose my train of thought. Um. I go out, you gotta go out there and shut them down, honey. They don't listen to me. <laughs> so you gonna just go give them the look. Now, the next one we're going to do is a rainbow. Let me see which order I need to do. Pink. Okay, pink. Mix it with blue is purple. And then blue. Green. Yellow. Orange. Okay. All right, we are going to start with pink. From here, apply it down. Not all the way down, just a little bit. Down here, mix this and blue together, and then do purple right in the middles. Here. Now, blue, remember, not all the way down, clean your brush and fade it down, just like this, green,
green down and then yellow this is a highlight yellow see how the color transform is very soft like an actual rainbow cute this and elusive so someone had a question what is the difference between aurora gel fairy gel and diamond flash fairy gel is its own category is bright glow in the dark wrinkle free and very fast cell leveling um aurora gel is a sparkle gel that are see through it show the background it doesn't matter what you put on it's gonna show it and diamond flash have no colors it's very similar to the color diamond flash liners however diamond flash top coat have no color at all now um diamond flash liners different than aurora gel because it's not see-through it is semi-transparent which means it twinkles it has to be semi-transparent for the glitter to kind of twinkle because it's reflective diamond flash is reflective aurora is not reflective it is pretty and it's like a ghost colors if you have blue and then you have a red now it's gonna turn out differently So now we finish the rainbow. See the rainbow? Now we're gonna cure this. And matte this. This needs to be matte too. So is Aurora glass, but different? Aurora? Uh, Aurora glass is also see-through, but it's a film. Aurora glitters, Aurora gel is glitter. It's see-through. Aurora glass is just a piece of film that you cut out. It's a different material than Aurora gel. Aurora gel is a see-through glitters. She does look green. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to put matte on this too. Isn't it? Um, I think I think we're done with Betty Boop. Um, she's not gonna be in Easter. It's gonna be someone else. Um, it's not going to be in May. It's not gonna. Oh, June and July. Betty Boop might ap uh, appear again for Patriot team. Yeah. Oh yeah. American flag and everything oh, yeah. for Betty Boop. Yes. Yeah. So she's gonna appear again, okay. and she probably will appear as a teacher in August. Teacher, the oh, sexy know. teacher with an apple that she bites into. She's gonna bite into an apple like a forbidden fruit in the classroom and in front of everyone. We have give Betty Boop. Uh, oh wait, oh her um her little legs things. Okay, so pixie gel, gold pixie gels is what I'm choosing, and uh, I'm choosing numbers seven. Oh, I kind of put uh, my lid on wrong and it kind of ruined my brush a little bit. So I'm going to adjust it back, pinch it back to position. There you go. That's why, that's why I always leave gel on because then it's nice and moist and flexible. See that? Oh, back in normal. Remember how you take your brush. Now, I am going to take gold pixie gels. And do a little bell buckle on here, the buckle for the hat. Oh, do you see Sean Legend? I used my clear texture gel the other day. You love my clear texture gels. So flatters. He called me and he's like, what is this texture gel? So uh, I tell Cindy to send him bottles for advertising. And he posts on stories. Jiggy, that's a flower frog. Yeah, it's a flower frog. I love that holders. Shh. 
she is so classy on this one. Is Roar Gel the same as stained glass but different? Mm -mm. No. Stained glass, the gel itself is see too. Aurora gel, mm, if you ever use a ghost glitter, like mm, unicorn glitter is a ghost glitter. A ghost glitter has two different tones. One is a tone, one is a base. Now a solid glitter like, like this gold, it doesn't have any base, it should have a colors. There is gold. A ghost glitter have a tone and a base. Like if you put on white, mm, it's gonna be blue, right? With a sheen of pink, right? Got it. If you put it on black, then you're not gonna see the blue, you know? You're gonna see the sheen of pink. So a ghost glitter show background. That way it is, a ghost glitter. Stained glass gel, it's just a gel that I see through. It's different than Aurora gel. Aurora well, gel is see through. Aurora glitter. brings out the colors. And what's right, right. Like this. Makes sense. It's an Aurora gel. See, see, it's a stained glass gel. Let me show you. A stained glass gel is totally clear, like, like glass. Like stained glass. Aurora gel is like this. Let me show you. Zoom all the way in. This is dream. Okay. Doesn't matter what it's on. You see this? It's base. It's obviously purples. But it is. It's torn, it's electric blue, okay? So this electric blue, whenever you mix it in clear gels or you uh, encapsulate this, it's magnifying this, it will show blue electric. You can see it, the blue electric on here. It doesn't care what the background is. Now, this color right here, this is spark gel. Now, I will show you the difference between the glitters. Spark gel will cover everything. Spark gel is purple. This is purple. It's going to stay purple. It, on black is purple. On white is purple. On yellow is purple. It's here to be purples. This can change. On a yellow, it can change the green in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? This can change. You almost have to know what your base color is. Strongest transparent color. Right. For example, if I have an ombre background, a beautiful ombre background, like a nude and black ombre background. So it's two color, right? If I slap this spot gel on there, the ombre will disappear. The whole nail will be purple. If I slap this aurora gel on there, it's still gonna be ombre. It's just not gonna be beautiful blue sheen, but you still can see the nude, you still can see the black. Makes you sense. Make sense. Makes sense. Whenever the background have more than one color, you need to use a ghost glitter. That's what you need to use. You don't use a solid one because that's what it is. That one is meant to be solid. It covers everything. So pixie gel is fine glitter and no color. Pixie gel is solid gel. And it's an embossed gel. It stays right on top. It doesn't need top coat at all. Glam gel is chunky glitter. Okay, now I need a sand and add some gold right here. So chunky glitter also is a solid glitter. It just have very different size, big, small, medium, and they are in the mix with each other rather than spark. Spark is, it look like glitter, but they're actually low leaf. Spark gel is low leaf, like little flake that they mix in. It's fine and it's solid. Okay, let's see, let's see. And we do need some twinkle too. Hear this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Any more questions? Nope, got them all covered. Yeah. Okay. It was a very good explanation of everything. Thank you. Have you ever chased a rainbow? 
Sadly, I did. Sadly. God, I've chased several snacks. Then I study about it. Reflection, if you look at a bubble, if you look at it from this angle, it's different when you look at from it from the other angle. So the reflection, the aura of that bubble is not come from that bubble. It comes from eye reflected to our eye. So it doesn't matter where you go. The rainbow just always oh, going to be right there. It's going to keep moving. It's going to keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep moving. Okay, now. Um, did you cure after you did the gold accent? Yes. Yes, I did. I cured it. Full, full cure. Everything's full cure. Now, um, I, I am going to take pixie gel again and make twinkles. Um, I never use glitter to make twinkle before. It might not look good. Let's see. If it not look good, we wipe it right up and start over. I, th I think it's look acceptable. You like it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. How much would a set like this cost you? Then? Oh, give me a second, please. Give me just a second. There's a lady, um, contact me for press on and give it to Nora. And then she drew a set. And Nora was texting me and asked for how much. And I, you know, Nora, um, sometimes when we price in for a, a customer, we don't have to feel bad about the price. If it's too much, we don't have to feel bad about it. Because if they can pay, they pay. If not, and sometimes they try to be clever with you. They try to say something or be smart just to get a deal. Don't give them a deal. They either take it or not. Especially as good as the Nora is, she's mm -hmm. going to be in the same position you're in where you just keep elevating above right. what everyone else does to make money. Right. Yeah. You don't, you don't feel, you don't owe them anything, Nora. You don't owe them anything. Either they'll be like, yay, I can afford it. Let's put in an order. Or they'll be like, oh, too much. I couldn't afford it. Or they will play game. They'll be like, oh, but Tino, Tino say you would charge less or something. You know what I mean? They play a little game with you. Just never give into it. Ah, oh, that is the set for today. So D is Betty Boof. Here it is. Okay, some ideas. Huh? Some ideas. Some, I'm going to do a hot plat. Hot plat? Mm -hmm. For them, um, you can either repeat this or do the whole nail plat, like that, on the thumb. Um, Betty Boop and the part of Go, uh, you don't repeat it. It's the main design. You you help in design to uh, uh, do on the thumb. Either uh, this or the whole nail plat or a, a whole nail plat with a negative Heart silhouette. Yeah, don't feel guilty, Mariah. Don't feel guilty, especially if you already have a decent amount of client. Then whoever come is extra. Then you make sure you charge for it because if they can afford it, then they're gonna keep buying from you. That's gonna elevate you. If they cannot afford it and you try to cut them a deal, guess what? That's gonna be it from now on. Every time they come back. That's going to be cheaper, that price that you're not happy about. So a, a person that can afford you, you really don't, don't really need to keep. You just need to keep a person that can afford you because then every time that you make order, you're going to be happy. You're going to be excited because the money is going to be what you want, going to be what you deserve. Just yeah. remember, it's not the first time I make that mistake before, mm, before. Sometimes I give the, this girl a little discount when I start doing press on. You know, when I first start doing press on, I feel a little insecure. Like, who, uh, is anybody gonna buy it? So one day I give this girl a little discount. Um, it's was uh two fifty, and I charge her two hundred, right? But guess what? Next time she make an order, it's awkward. 
Cause it's two fifty now, right? Or if I if I have to, I keep the same price, but that doesn't make me happy. Yeah. Then every time she make order, I'm dreading about it. And then sometimes she make like five different order, so I'm more dreading about it because I like, well, fifty dollar up for an order, then five order is gonna be two fifty, so I'm lo losing two fifty. You know what I mean? So you don't want to open that door at all. Don't open that door. All right, you guys, Betty Boots. This is Betty Boots right here. I didn't take note today because it's not a layer design. This is a pattern design. Oh, I love it. Did you like it, Dustin? I love it. Oh, Betty Boots. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> These are fire. Thank you. Impressed now. She come back from the class meeting. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm so dis disappointed. I missed the process of the potluck design. Um, I do this last, by the way. If you rewatch it, I do this one last. I do this one first, this one in between, and the potluck go last. So if you want to learn just a potluck go and skip to the end. Is that how you do it, you guys? You don't have to learn all four, but I recommend you learn all four. If that, if you're in a hurry and you see this and you'd be like, oh, well, I wish I know how to do this for this season, then just skip to all the end and learn this. But please uh, come back later and learn everything because um, you're not necessarily learn how to do this. You just going through this process to learn how to shade, to learn how to highlight to learn how to shadow so next time you draw like like a random shape like an elephant then now you know well when i draw belly boop i learn how to shadow so now i can shadow my elephant i can put highlight on my elephant i learn how to draw the eye so i know now how to put the color in and then the black and then the white dot in and i have to do that now you know what i mean mm. so it, and then you learn the background so you're not necessarily learn to do this design you just have to went through this process so you can enrich yourself with new skill new little tiny little detail it change everything in your life even like little ombre brush i'm using still very helpful to know how to use that and then you learn how to uh, use different elements you know what i mean but more people look at it they thought that's only one material no it's not it's a filler gel. I'm putting in. I put in stained glass gel. I'm putting milk gel for highlight. You know, there are all kind of different element emboss gel using pixie gel to emboss, which means you have to do it after that coat. You know what I mean? So there's a lot, like a rainbow right here too. So it's just many, many different techniques that you will learn. Um, let me see. Yes, you're learning the principle of it. Uh, um, you should uh, uh, put red hair. Yeah, like the leprechaun. I know, right? Gosh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> oh, that might be weird, though. See Betty with her hair down? Betty always have black hair, right? Always, that I've ever seen. That time, at least, want me to do Tinkerbell. Mm, but oh. she want me to do a black Tinkerbell. Her. Right? So i like, okay, so what skin tone do you want? She like mocha. So i like, okay, so I paint in all the beautiful skin tone. And then come to the hair, I ask Elise, I say, so what color hair is think about? And I expect in black, you know, black hair with mocha skin tone, beautiful. She said, keep it blonde. I'm about to fall over my chair. So now there's a black thing about with blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> I miss her, God, it's been like uh, two years already. At least it's one of our clients that will turn everything black. Your Sam Sam. She wanted to be black. Um, think about black. What else? Betty Boop. Black Betty Boop. A black Cupid. Um, Santa. Black Santa. A black elf. And so she wanted to turn every cat to black. <laughs> so it's very unique with Elise. Every time Elise comes, and she wants a character. And she she not wanting like... Um, See, very unique. She's not one in like one nail with character, and then the rest is helping in design. Mm -mm. Just no, she want but this Betty Boop, that Betty Boop, 
Betty Boop right here, Betty Boop right here, different poses. <laughs> she said, she would Google a bunch of characters and just send me a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to be out of here. Uh, I'm going to post this five minutes later. I'm going to post this live right here. All right, everyone, I will be back tonight uh, for another design. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking something trendy. I, we got three hours to figure out something to eat. And by the yeah. end of that, we'll figure out something to design. Bye bye, everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we're going at four, right? Maybe if, if they okay. have a reservation, yeah. All right, I will see you tonight, six o'clock. Central. Central, Central time. Bye bye, everyone. See you guys later. See you tonight. All right. Yes, six o'clock tonight. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Coco Bunny Kikaro. Bye bye. Sandra.